So I'm here on the Vodafone stand and I have the absolute pleasure of being joined by Phil Skipper, Head of Strategy for Vodafone IoT. Phil, hey, how are you? Very well indeed, very well. So it's day three of the show, so much has happened. Tell me, how's your show been so far? It's been really good. The customer interest in IoT I don't think has ever been higher, so it's a fantastic show to be at. Which leads me nicely onto my next question. You know, you only need to walk around the show to know that IoT is absolutely exploding. So why do you think that is? And what's really driving this? Well, it's simply down to customer demands. And what is behind that demand? Well, it's a combination of our access to global networks, the platforms, but also the skills and capabilities and they enable our customers to connect simply, safely and securely. And that's our role as IoT, to actually do everything to connect anything and enable our customers to really harness the full power of IoT. And it really is quite impressive just how far IoT has come over the last few years really, hasn't it? It has. And, you know, we've gone from being fairly small to one of the leading providers. And I think it's all down to this customer demand and the fact that IoT has matured significantly over the last 10 years. So talking of customer demand, what is it specifically, or what is it generally even, that you think customers want out of their IoT experiences? And again, what customers need is as they become more and more reliant on IoT, they need a provider that offers them the lowest operational risk. And that's a combination of availability, reliability, capability, but also price. And as Vodafone IoT, we're really positioned to enable our customers to connect with confidence so they can digitize their businesses around IoT. Yeah, I think that's the key phrase right there, connect with confidence. Okay, let's look into the future now. What does the future hold for IoT? Where are we gonna go with this core cool technology? Well, we'd only just scratched the surface, but now with AI, it's become even bigger. So I think what you can expect to see are really exciting new applications in things like medical diagnostics, autonomous driving, connected infrastructure. There's going to be so much more. So IoT is ready to hyperscale and Vodafone IoT is going to be there to hyperscale with it. You are talking my language. As a journalist, I absolutely love everything IoT and I love to hear about the work that Vodafone's doing. You sounds like you've got a lot of work cut out, but a lot of fun to have over the next few years as well. So It's a brilliant time and it's a great time to be in IoT. So, uh, you know, there's no better place to be.